Hello, 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 you legends. How are you doing? Welcome to another video. Now, as you can tell, I am in my daily drive with the Kia Stinger GTS. However, today, I am not going to be driving this specific car because we're going out on track. It is about time I find out what this car can do on track. Well, in order to do that, and I, so that I don't ruin my tires, Kia supplied me with a basically identical, just different interior color, Kia Stinger. So I'm going to take this car and go on track. See you out there. I'm going to go have some fun. Bye. You were looking at me, I shall try not to crash your car. Thanks for lending it to me though. Right, feels like about time I, I finally take this car on track. Silverstone require a helmet. Understandable though. Clearly they have seen my videos before and know I am a bit of a knob. I am currently in sport mode with paddles. This thing has Kia's own eight speed developed gearbox. Twin turbocharged V6. Here we go, out onto the track. 365 horsepower on this beast. It weighs a lot, I'm not gonna to lie to you. But I'm intrigued to see how this thing does on track. I've said it many times, I've been very impressed with the car on the road. But let's see how it does on track. I really don't really know where I'm going, but uh, I'm doing 130 miles an hour. So wherever I'm going, I'm, I'm getting there pretty quick. Ah, there's a corner. This car does 0 to 60 in five seconds, which maybe doesn't sound too impressive when you compare it to supercars, but for a car which is this practical, with this much space and this much weight, that is very impressive. It feels pretty good around here, to be honest. Okay, this is a track-tested car, so the brakes have taken a beating. However, they warned me about this, but they really do not feel that bad. Obviously, steel Brembo brakes on this car, the Kia Stinger GTS. Oh, you can feel you can feel that there's a certain amount of weight. I'm not going to hide that from you guys. It feels like a slightly odd thing to be doing, testing this car on a racetrack. But you know what? It feels so much more at home here than I thought it would. It's pro it's fast. I mean, 365 horsepower, that's almost as much as my Lotus. Yes, it weighs more. Now, that is an impressive amount of power. The grip, we're on Michelin Pilot Sports, and the grip is really impressive. Rear wheel drive, this car. 300 compound tire. Oh, yes, I'm getting into this. I kind of know where the track's going now, which is, you know, it's, it's a positive. The fact is, it's obviously not a track weapon. This isn't necessarily a car you're going to take on a track day, but for a car that is as comfortable and as usable as this, and I've had mine for seven months now, that it can come out on track and actually be this enjoyable is insane. Now the steering isn't particularly communicative, but oh, it is quick. The brakes, are communicative and strong and there is i mean there's body roll obviously but much less than you would expect from a car this heavy and i know a lot of the comments will be oh you're just saying this because kia have lent you a car absolutely not i was surprised because a lot of brands will ask you can you maybe say this or focus on this i arrived here and i was like you know anything in particular you're trying to get the word out on and if i agree with it i'll try and do that these guys are like literally have the car have the track we just want to know what you think and uh i am impressed a car which you can drive daily as i have been in so much comfort i mean i have a cooled seat on right now my cooled seat is activated so i don't get too hot whilst around the track yet i am currently doing 110 miles an hour in silverstone Yes, this is awesome. This has changed my perspective on this car. One of the main guys from BMW M was actually recruited by Kia to develop this car. Now it goes all the way up to 167 miles an hour if you buy one in the UK market and that's electronically limited to 167 miles an hour. 
We are not going quite that fast yet. A little bit of fade starting to come in with the brakes. That may just also be that I'm getting a bit more confident. Fairly abstract video, but I think this is quite fun to do. Tracking my daily, seeing how it will perform. I mean, they've marketed this car as a sports car, as a car that can keep up with all the big dogs. So, you know, I figured it was time to put it to the test. It wants to let go of rear wheel drive. The steering, you know, it's good, but it's, it's not amazing. You are shifting a lot of weight. You can feel that. But I mean, overall, the lack of body roll and the way this thing stops does not go with the way it looks and the way it drives daily. To know now within me that my daily driver is capable of doing this, I must look like such an idiot right now, hey. <laughs> my daily driver is capable of doing what we just did on the track is, uh, oh, it's brilliant, I'm so, I'm so happy. Hold it till it turns everything off, there you go. Hey! I've gotten rid of my, uh, my helmet now. So I feel a bit more normal. Going to attempt to do launch control. With this drive mode button here, I need to go into sport mode, left foot on the brake, press and hold traction control until it says traction and stability control disabled. Okay, left foot on the brake. It'll hold the revs. And we go. Oh, oh, that's 60 now. Oh, okay, yep. Yeah, that's quick. It's pretty good fun, I'm not gonna lie. Post 0 to 60, we're going out on a little bit of a like handling track type thing. Um, and the main reason I'm filming now is purely just to see the entertainment of the cameraman trying to hold the camera. Oh! <laughs> I'm alive! I'm alive! Uh, it's over. I actually quite like this interior color. I prefer the red. But this is quite nice. The cameraman's going to try standing here behind some tires and see if uh, it feels very exciting from inside the car. If from behind there you can see me getting a tiny bit sideways, I highly doubt it though. Let's see. I think you've got to be like full lock kind of thing. Yeah, but I'm not gonna. Not worth it. Well, that looked kind of pathetic from outside. It felt very heroic from inside, but hey ho. We're gonna chill for our passenger in the back now. He's not feeling that good. You okay back there? <laughs> <laughs> like it feels so cool. But then, but then, yeah, I guess it doesn't look cool from the outside. And I'm, I am by no means like a, a, a particularly good driver. So that I can do it this easily in this car, that, that says a lot. Oh, wow, around the corner, <laughs> you're, you're right here. Oh. Let's go. Hey, whoa, whoa. Bet.